Donald Trump slammed Forbes magazine, dissing the very dated publication after it dropped him from its famed America's wealthiest list, RadarOnline.com has learned. The 77-year-old former president went on a tirade, alleging, without proof, that Forbes was in cahoots with New York Attorney General Letitia James as she charges forward with his fraud case. Forbes dumped Trump, reporting that his net worth was down more than $600 million from a year ago. Number 45 used to boast about making the highly coveted list, but has changed his tune. China-owned, China Investment Corp., the country's sovereign wealth fund, and very badly failing, Forbes magazine, which lost most of its relevance long ago, and which knows less about me than Stormy Daniels, who doesn't know me at all. Or Rosie O'Donnell, took me off their fake Forbes 400 list, just by a whisker, even though they know that I should be high up on that now very dated and discredited antique, Trump wrote on his social media platform, Truth Social. They are working with a racist and highly incompetent, job-killing Attorney General of New York, Letitia Peekaboo James, who has allowed murder and violent crime in the state to hit epidemic levels. He also attacked the magazine's really dumb journalists. China-owned Forbes is a participant in the election interference scam, and after what I have done to China, with hundreds of billions of dollars being paid to the USA, who can blame them? For years, Forbes has attacked me with really dumb writers assigned to hit me hard, and I am now up 60 points on the Republicans, and beating Crooked Joe by a lot. So much for Forbes. The ex-president concluded. This is the third time that Trump has been kicked off America's 400 wealthiest list. Forbes said his declining net worth is largely credited to his non-profitable social media business. Visit the all-new Radar Sports for all the on- and off-field activities of the biggest names in the games. Trump's Forbes rant isn't the only time he spouted off. As RadarOnline.com reported, he claimed the recent attack by Hamas on civilians in Israel would have never happened if he was president. He's also used his social media platform to rage against news outlets, all the crimes he's accused of, and everyone trying to hold him accountable.